Syrian tanks, which are already entered our lines, caught us by surprise, destroyed all our army, and now want to do a scissor. Anybody play chess? Yes. Yeah. A scissor move <laughs> to get from the bottom to collect all your soldiers, and I'm going to finish up all, finish up completely all the Israeli army. He did enough. He's driving and he hears the lakwas that he had better hear. Because in the night you hear, and he recognized the chains. They didn't sound like Israeli chains, they were Russian tanks. He recognized them before they recognized him. And he started playing a cat and mouse with these tanks. Now they thought there was a few, there was actually three Israeli tanks. And he used to shoot, drive back, go to another place, shoot blind. Hopefully you'll hit something. And he delayed this Syrian movement forward. Now the joke of the matter is that when he drove, there was so chaotic, chaotic is that while he was driving, the general in command of the Israeli <laughs> army of all the northern front ordered the evacuation of the command base. We drove next to it, by the way. Why? Because you don't want all the information, the secret code maps, all the radio codes falling in the hands of the Syrians. You burn it, you destroy, and you move. And they were ready. I mean, there was no force to stop the Syrians. Everything was on the front and was being destroyed by overwhelming forces. So they were hiding in the forest that we saw. And this guy, Tzvika, without the generals knowing, hops into a tank and drives, and they hear tank battles going on. So one of them, I don't know, it's funny now, I don't know if it was funny then, is a general in charge asking for his communication officer to find out who's firing. Is there, is there a, is there a battle there? Who's, do, who's protecting the, the base? And they try through the radio, and they more or less talk to him, and they say to him more or less like this, who are you? Identify. He says to him, well, I'm Tzvika Force, going south. Who is Tzvika Force? Me. I don't have time. We'll talk to you and then we'll talk to you later. And he's, he's fighting for his life. Yeah, and he moves, he's moving tanks because his tank is hit, he's taking another tank. So unclear, and just the whim that somebody is fighting, and basically Tzvika, with the four hours of, of, of breathing he gave, is one of five people that got the highest rank medal, the Medal of Honor in the Yom Kippur War. Not because he survived, by the way, he was injured, but he survived. He's still alive, he still tells the story. But he just a guy that's hopped in a tank and drove into a battlefield that he should have died and did the best job possible for four hours, and these four hours actually allowed reserve to pour in and, and block. He actually and also chained the tank, uh, I think, twice, that his yeah. tank was... Hopped, hopped his tank, tank, yeah, he hopped from, uh, like, three tanks and was injured, uh, uh, like, two times and uh, kept on fighting until he was uh, relieved. That's what caused the, the Syrians to think there were more tanks than there actually were. Yeah. The act of hopping between tanks. Hopping between tanks, right? Um, 